India's indigenously developed light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas is all set to conquer new skies as the fighter aircraft is inching closer to achieving final operational clearance, FOC, following the successful test flights and hot refueling trials. We expect to get FOC for the MK-1 by June to July 2018. Most of the tasks for the FOC are in the final stage and the rest will be completed soon. Some of the tasks under focus are the completion of integration of all FOC weapons including flight envelope expansion with the Derby BVR missiles. The software fine-tuning for complete carefree maneuvering is also in progress. The technical integration for R has been completed and the trials have been commenced on the ground after initial carriage flight trials. All the simulated ground tests have been successfully completed as Tejas was refueled by placing it at various attitudes on the ground. We expect to make Tejas ready for air-to-air -air refueling by the end of April. Currently, we are focusing on increasing the flying rate of the MK-1 aircraft to 60 flights every month. We have received the approval to prove unmanned technologies like auto takeoff and landing on LCA for future uses. The unmanned version will sport flush air data systems technology for stealth feature. The design of the front also will be modified. The project will begin immediately after receiving the FOC for Mark 1. We are planning to enhance the combat capabilities of the MK-1A by integrating new weapons. Tejas has already completed precision bombing with laser-guided 1,000-pounds bombs and unguided bombs. The integration of Raphael's Derby Fire and Forget missile will be completed soon, and it will serve as the Tejas' initial medium-range air-to-air armament. The integration of ASA radar is underway, and it is expected to be done soon. The ASA radar will improve air-to-air -air superiority and strike missions and to achieve long detection ranges and multi-target tracking capabilities. More than 60% of the LRUs of Tejas are indigenously made. Many countries like Singapore, Sri Lanka, Turkmenistan have shown interest in Tejas. Singapore has come forward to show interest in the trainer version of Tejas for training purpose of Air Force personnel. The naval version of Tejas has completely mastered the ski jump, takeoff from aircraft carriers, even at night time also. But, the arrested landing of the aircraft is still a challenge to be overcome. The hook for the arrested landing has been integrated and we are now progressing towards demonstration of arrested landing. We expect to prove carrier compatibility of Tejas by the end of the year. From delivering the 124th aircraft onwards, LCA MK-2 will enter service. The MK-2 project is in the detailed design stage. The major thrust of the aircraft will be its ability to carry missiles like Astra and Brahmos. It will have software-defined radios, SDR, and all equipment to wage electronic warfare. The Mark II will be much superior in terms of its combat capabilities and will belong to the medium-weight class. LCA MK-2 to replace Mirage 2000. Jaguar and MiG-29 aircraft in the future. We will provide completely upgraded flight control systems, avionics, sensors etc. of which the indigenous development has already started. It will be easier for how to manufacture it as ADA is making a production-friendly design for the aircraft. The feasibility study of the EMCA has been completed and a feasible configuration has been evolved. Initially it is planned to build two next-generation technology demonstrators. NGTD. These will leverage the existing technology of the LCA to achieve the target of first flight within five years. Our focus is currently on the LCA Mark II, along with giving equal importance to the production of Mark 1A. The development of AMCA is another priority.